The cover story of Madison Magazine's April edition tackles the topic of what it's like to be Muslim in Madison. There are 10,000 Muslim uh, residents in Madison, and as you can imagine, it's tough to paint a population with one broad brush. So to talk more about this today, we're joined by Masood Akhtar, a leader in Madison's Muslim community, and former federal attorney John Beaudry, who is a member of the We Are Many advisory board. John, nice to see you. both of you. Thank you Thank for you. being here. Thanks for inviting Masood, us. it's a big question, but we'll give it to you first. What is it like to be Muslim in Madison? How long have you lived in Madison? I have been in Madison for a little over 30 years and I enjoy every bit of it. So what has your experience been like? You've had a positive experience? Very positive experience so with the last few exceptions when myself and a lot of our community members have a lot of challenges uh, in terms of the environment of fear, environment of hate, that this election cycle, the presidential cycle, created for us. Uh, but we are trying to go out and educate people about who we are and what our role is and our message is we are just like you. And that was the purpose of this whole article that you referenced. Mm -hmm. How much has it changed with the new president and, and the campaign leading up to that? The biggest change is the fear and the safety issues that we are all concerned about. So we are doing a lot more educational thing, going out and talking to people, um, explaining to them that, you know, look at, we're just like you. Our community is as diverse as you will find. And you saw that in the article as well. At the same time, you want to get out and say, we are as professionally diverse as you will find. And that was another thing in that article that you see. We have our community folks, working in military, working in Navy, you know, firefighters, business people, um, all of these things, just like the way other people are. Mm -hmm. And so we will continue on that path. The other thing that was so important in this article was that we also wanted to show that we have very strong working relationship with our law enforcement officers. Just like John, <laughs> we work very closely with him, and I'm so thankful that you agreed to participate in that article as well. And last but not the least, you know, sometimes we have challenges with a lot of those mainstream media. And we are so lucky that we have our local uh, media here that is so cooperating and working with us. So we thank you for all of these things that you're doing to promote what we are looking for. Well, we thank you for being here and yeah. sharing your story. John, you've spent so many years working with sort of marginalized populations mm -hmm. across the state. What, what moved you to get involved in this cause? Um, I think the first thing, when I got the job as U.S. Attorney, it was truly the mission of President Obama, the Attorney General, to make sure we built relationships, in, in this case with the Muslim community across our district, to make sure they knew that there was a face to the Department of Justice, they knew that we would protect them, and they knew that the government, the Department of Justice, considered them a, a rich, vibrant part of our community. So that's why I did it, and basically I got in the car and <laughs> drove from Barron to Altoona to Marshfield to Janesville. A, a quarter of the population on this planet is Muslim. I mean, it's not concentrated in Madison. I mean, as you yeah, say, it's right. all over the state. It's many faces, people from hundreds of different countries. And I think that's the fascinating thing about the wonderful article. Just in a small microcosm, you see the diversity of different countries, Gambia, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Um, and in our state, the, the community in Barron is almost all Somali. Mm -hmm. The community in, in Marshfield is almost all Pakistani. And, and, but they vary so much. And it's, it's, I really believe, and I think we all agree, it's that diversity that is not something to be afraid of. It's that diversity that actually makes us who we are, has always made us who we are, and we need to recognize that diversity and, and, and embrace it. But that is something about Madison. We're sort of, uh, that's part of our pride, our community pride, that we're very open and we're very progressive and maybe we're, we're uh, a little ahead of the curve, do you yeah. think, when it comes we to something are. like I this? We are. I think some of these, because I go to D.C. and talk to some other groups as well, and when I talk about what we are trying to do in Madison, they just love it. They say, hey, keep us posted about this. One of the things that has not changed when I talk to our Muslim community members that despite all of this anti hate rhetoric that we hear and concern about, that all the Muslim people that we talk to, they say one thing, we still love this country. This is the mm -hmm. best country on the face of this earth. 
and we will do whatever is necessary to keep it that way and keep it united. Boy, if everyone could hear that message, how important that is. Do things, things might get worse before they get better? Well, you know, I, I trust the Constitution and I trust the people of this state. They, they are going to remain engaged. They're going to respect their neighbors. In Madison, it's certainly true, but I really have seen it everywhere. It, that's what we have to do. I think you have to have faith in the Constitution, faith in your neighbors, and remain engaged with each other. And I think that's what we are trying to do with this new movement that you mentioned. And our movement name is We Are Many United Against Hate, because things have changed, not just the hate and fear against Muslims, but now other minorities as well. So this movement basically will focus on looking at all other minorities who are going to be subject to hate, and also those who are not subject to hate, but also don't like hate. So hopefully they are going to come and join our movement, and we will all work together to fight it. We are just scratching the surface. Your pick up the current edition of Madison Magazine is a, it's a spectacular article. Maggie Ginsburg's article is on the front page of the Madison of the magazine. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us today. Great to see you Thanks both. so much. Thank you. Keep Thank up you the so good much. work. We'll be Thank back you. with a final check of your forecast in just a minute.